Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to process any orders you receive in the Fastos e-commerce website builder package. So first things first I'm logged into my account and we can see on the front page here for my shop, shop I've got an order that needs to be looked into and if you receive an order on your store you're going to receive a notification to the email address you use uh, for this for your Fastos account. So let's go and take a look at uh, our orders so it's under my sales and orders and here we can see all the orders from my store now we haven't got many orders in here so it's just a demo store but if you've got lots of uh, orders we've got this filter here so you can choose all of these different filters if you've got, if you need to look for a specific invoice you can filter by date payment status fulfillment status so lots of options there now from this overview we can do a few different uh, few few options we can change the order status um, the payment status and what we've actually done with it so processing ship delivered delivery cancelled if we actually go into the order there we get a bit more information it's, uh, we can see some more of the customer information customer details and if you had if you ship the product and received the tracking uh, tracking code for that from your courier you could you that would be shown in here and when your email, when your customer was emailed they would receive that information too so they generally receive an email notification when you change the payment status so we say that one's paid and we could say it has shipped you could use processing if they had some kind of uh, customization that you needed to and you could just change it to processing just to let them know that you are actually uh, working on their order but we're going to complete that one here now you'll note there's no save button here so every time you change something like the payment status or the fulfillment status automatically it's going to update that order and potentially email your customer unless you change those settings uh, which i will just show you in a minute so that's been that that orders there, that's been processed if i wanted to change that uh, we could just go to settings and it'll be under notifications so here you can see the customer order notifications that they're going to receive so you can edit those or change them or turn them off whatever you want to do but it's just worth noting that by default they're all on and when you change that status uh, that customer is going to receive an email so just going back into orders here a couple of things worth noting uh, we've talked about the filter but what we can also do is do bulk updates on these so if we multi-check these we can do um, bulk update on that so we can print them export them change the payment status we can also delete wouldn't recommend doing that um, it's not a good idea uh, just for really for historical purposes you can later down the line you might want to know uh, how many people cancelled orders for specific products or anything like that so be careful with deleted sometimes you'll need to use it but just be a little bit careful because it's not recoverable at all and that's really all there is to it we can clear that with there and like i say you can refresh but there's nothing really else in that order section uh, that i need to show you so that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching goodbye for now